Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm going to take you around World Showcase here at Epcot to show you all of the decorations for the Festival of the Holidays. We hope you enjoy the video. And this is actually part two of this series because I already did Future World in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that particular video, make sure that you click on the link in the description as well as above in order to check out part one of this particular Epcot decorations tour. So let's get started. Tree is so beautiful. And there are holiday greetings written in multiple languages all over the tree. And behind the uh, We Three Kings food booth, you have We Three Kings themselves as uh, cutouts. That's pretty nice. Got decorations here on the Disney Trader Shop. We've got some great flower planters here, as well as a beautiful view of Spaceship Earth. We're going to head down towards the Mexico Pavilion because there's always some great lights inside that pavilion as well. And this camera should be able to show them really, really well with the low light that it has. It's a beautiful day today to take video. We have some sky riding in the sky there. Haven't seen any for a while. It's the first I've seen for a while. I guess they figure the parks will be busy. All these beautiful poinsettias in front of the uh, La Cantina restaurant here in Mexico. And we also have beautiful garlands over the eating area. We even had garlands on the sign here. And a lot of great decorations, little sconces I believe over the uh, holes there, the ordering area, so very well decorated here. And here we are in the Plaza de los Amigos. We've got beautiful lighted garlands all around the area here. Here's a little bit of view from a little further back. And pretty much every merchandise table over here has some kind of lights on it. Here's another poinsettia tree. They've got them kind of in here in different places, just not as many of them as there were before. I said in the other video, uh, the Future World video, that there were poinsettia trees all around Future World before, but now they just have a few of them here and there, but they're still really pretty. Even the little stage area where the mariachi band performs is really well decorated here. And I may not catch all of these, but in each country there is an explanation of how Christmas is celebrated in those countries. And here we are in Norway. Beautiful poinsettias and those little barrel buckets there and uh, beautifully decorated stage. A lot of these countries, they bring out their um, Christmas figure, whether it be Santa or, you know, whatever it is, so. Here's uh, how they celebrate Christmas in Norway. I can keep from getting run over here. <laughs> this uh, Stave Kirk or Stave Church is so beautiful and it's uh, decorated just a little bit. Little holiday sconces here and there. Let me know if that's not the right word, but that's the word that's coming to mind for these little uh, kind of P3 
pieces of greenery with the ornaments in them. And it is just an absolutely beautiful day for a stroll here. So even though this isn't holiday related, I have to stop and take a second to admire the World Showcase Lagoon. Now here in the China Pavilion, of course they celebrate Christmas a little bit differently in China and so, um, they actually uh, don't have decorations up in the countries that don't celebrate it so or don't celebrate it the same way so you won't find any major Christmas decorations here in China and I believe it would probably be considered disrespectful to put decorations on some of these uh, temple buildings and some of these uh, gates here like this uh, I think they uh, feel like those should be left as is so that's why you're not seeing decorations here uh, they're very accurate to the culture however they do have a show here on this stage that uh, talks about how the Chinese celebrate so the it says here the holiday season cul cul uh, culminates in the celebration of the Chinese New Year so it's pretty cool I don't know if you can read that or not you can pause the video if you want to read all of it And all around World Showcase, they have these holiday markets where you can get uh, ornaments and uh, all kinds of holiday gifts. And of course, there's also the Christmas store in Disney Springs that uh, has a lot of the same merchandise, but there may be a few special things here. I'm not sure. Leave a comment if you know. There's another one of those markets all decorated out, and they all have something different. So. Now we're headed into Germany here, and Germany goes all in in celebrating Christmas, as many of you know. And I know we've got some amazing German viewers in our resort hopper community, so they would probably be able to tell you better than I can, but they've got uh, some great decorations here. And in Germany they have a lot of the Christmas markets too. I never, I was in Germany in the summer, so never got to see that, but I'd like to go sometime. Love the toy soldiers here, and all over the stage, lots of great decorations. And here's the little sign that explains how Germany celebrates Christmas. If you want to read all of it, you can pause the video right here. And one other thing they have going on here is called the cookie stroll. You can actually get a card and get it stamped at every cookie location around World Showcase. So we'll have to try that on a separate video. It looks like fun. And it involves cookies, so that can't be bad, right? And here we've got some great decorations on the Werther's uh, Caramel Store here. Let's go into the main town square here. And of course it's all decked out. So many great decorations here. I love this little medieval village or medieval village feel here. Reminds me a lot of uh, Rotenburg, where my brother used to live. And even the glassblower shop here is uh, well decorated for Christmas. Let's go take a look over here. And you can see the Christmas tree just across the World Showcase Lagoon there. It's pretty awesome. And they've got the miniature train here decorated just a little bit with lights up in the uh, upper area here. They're hard to see during the day, but you can see them twinkling here. See the train running down there. And here we are in Italy. So let's check out some of the decorations here.
all the decorations are so tasteful and according to that country's customs and culture, I think that's a really good thing that Disney goes to that level of detail just like they did when they built these pavilions, just making sure that it was an authentic representation of that particular culture, all the way down to the Christmas decorations. We have a little uh, tree here with a uh, different color. I believe those are poinsettias here. It's pretty awesome. And this is not related to the uh, holiday stroll here, but uh, I love being able to exit these countries and you immediately see Spaceship Earth off in the distance. So that's a lot of fun. And here's another great view of Spaceship Earth and the Christmas tree. Let's get a little zoom here. Just amazing right across the uh, World Showcase Lagoon here. So beautiful. Here we have the sign for the Candlelight Processional right outside the America Garden Theater. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they've got the um, narrators listed there. They're also listed online as well if you want to look them up, but a lot of great people here this year. And here we have the theater all set up for the candlelight processional. I know it's really dark in there, so it's probably hard to see, but at least you can see the stained glass on the sides, which just adds a really neat effect and ambiance to the uh, theater that it doesn't normally have. And if you haven't seen the candlelight processional, it is a must see when you're down here. It starts right around Thanksgiving. Actually, it starts on Thanksgiving this year and continues all the way through uh, Christmas and I believe a couple days past Christmas. And here we are across the way at the America Pavilion checking out the decorations here. Really amazing and the best part though is this tree we're going to go over and check out here in just a minute. They actually used to put the tree right in the middle of this fountain. I believe they put a platform in the fountain or something, I'm not sure, but they used to put the tree in this fountain and now they put it over here. I think I'm remembering that right. Leave a comment if you remember the tree being right there in the middle. They've got these umbrellas around it so you can't see it quite as well as normal, but still really, really great. Great looking, beautiful tree. The poinsettias all around it. I think if they go on this side, we'll be able to get a, a little bit more clear shot of it. Like they've got a lot of fruit and pine cones and all kinds of lanterns and really cool stuff on this particular tree. Here's another angle, shooting into the sun a little bit, but you can see the main uh, American Pavilion building there behind it as well. And here we have the uh, United States way that we celebrate Christmas. You can read that and pause the video if you'd like. Here we have Santa and Mrs. Claus having a great time up here. <laughs> Love the beautiful display they've got for the children to meet Santa here. Another view of the tree. Good light on it this time. There you see some decorations on the side of one of the food booths. And again we head out onto the World Showcase Promenade to visit Japan. As we approach Japan, we've got the taiko drumming show going on, which is a lot of fun. Of course, that's featured all year, but still such an amazing show of artistry and music. And one of
one of my favorite views in all of Epcot here is Spaceship Earth through this gate. It's so amazing. And so of course you're not going to see regular Christmas decorations all over these uh, Japanese pavilion buildings for a similar reason that we talked about in China, just out of respect and it's not a cultural norm to have these types of buildings decorated. But let's go inside the shop and we'll see if there are decorations inside the shop. So actually you can see that there are no decorations inside the Japan shop here, at least that I can find. We'll keep journeying on, but looks to be the normal decorations here and everything uh, is as it normally is. And here we have the uh, sign here showing how they celebrate in Japan. It's a New Year's celebration. It's like they're just about to start it. The Daruma doll. How many more nights must I sleep before it's New Year's Day? On New Year's Day, we will fly kites. On New Year's Day, let's spin top. Please come, please come soon, New Year's Day. Hey, you don't say that shit. That was for sale, only the fighters. That was for sale, that was for sale. You don't say So, as we head out to uh, Morocco, that was really neat. We got to see part of their uh, New Year's celebration explanation there. It sounds like the Daruma doll plays an important role in that celebration, so one of these days I want to do a video of all of the holiday celebration presentations that they do all around World Showcase Promenade here. But let's head over to Morocco and check out what's going on there. So here we are in Morocco, and let's look at how they celebrate. can read that there talking about the harvest as well as Ramadan so lots of different uh, cultural celebrations here in Morocco of course you're not going to see Christmas decorations but they do I'm sure have their own decorations and traditions well, we can look around Morocco just a little bit though because it is beautiful no matter what time of the year you visit To me, this is one of the most immersive countries because you can walk into the streets, kind of like you're in a bazaar, and uh, you can walk back in here and really believe that you're in Morocco, so pretty cool. And here we have a celebration of Hanukkah. You can hear the Hanukkah storyteller singing right now. We'll go look, at, watch him for a little bit.
one for each night they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. Thank you. And here we are in France. Let's take a look at the decorations around here. We've got the beautiful fountain here as a photo pass spot as it always is. And then up the way just a little further we've got these beautiful ornaments. They have these here I think most years. And they're just really, really cool and very detailed. The first one here is the Eiffel Tower. It's a beautiful ice skating scene around the Eiffel Tower there. Here's the Arc de Triomphe. Beautiful holiday scenes here. We got one more ornament to check out here on this side. Ah, that's the wonderful French food that we can enjoy around the holidays. It's a really cool display here with these ornaments. All the poinsettias around to make it even better. And they've got a few decorations up here. And the main uh, planter here in front of Impressions de France is all poinsettias. And here inside the pastry shop, they've got some decorations as well. I'm just noticing quite a line for pastries. And here's the beautiful topiary fleur-de-lis, complete with a poinsettia tree behind it. And here we have the uh, sign here in France telling how they celebrate Christmas with Père Noël. They have the stage here where Père Noël comes out and greets guests every once in a while. I love these little peppermint decorations here along the bridge. It's a lot of fun. Peppermints and peppermint poles. All right, and here we are going to head into the UK Pavilion. Check out the decorations here. Oh, this is really cool over here. So we got a teapot along with a bunch of poinsettias around it. And actually, I love how, go back to the teapot here. I love how the teapot has a Christmas tree on it and the cups and saucers have holiday decorations as well. We have a few decorations here around the pub. Just on the poles, some greenery. Oh, it looks very nice. And all the way down the street here, they've got the every lamppost decorated here. Here's Father Christmas. <laughs> now let's see, where was I? Oh, yes! Now, that Christmas carol that I was just singing, like so many Christmas traditions, actually originated right here in the United Kingdom. In fact, it is not at all uncommon to see a group of carolers, very much like yourselves, standing on a street corner, very much like this one, singing all the songs of the season. Oh, you know what? That gives me a magnificent idea. Uh, Excuse me, my dear, but what is your name? Yes, she says with perchance the slightest bit of hesitation, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Shelley, would you be so kind as to come up and give me some assistance? Oh, thank you so much. Let's give her a nice warm round of applause, shall we? Thank you so much, Shelley. Right now, stand right there. Now, Shelley, who are you here with today? 
your family right there. Uh, I, and your mother's wonderful. Now, Shelly, if I have for you here are uh, jingle bells. So I want you to go ahead and take these. Now, when I point at you and say jingle bells, I want you to shake them vigorously, all right? Let's give it a try. Jingle bells. Just like that. Well done. Now, as I was saying, the tradition of the jingle bells. Oh, well done. I tried to catch you off guard, but oh, she was far too fast. Jingle bells. <laughs> well done, my dear. And so, my friend. Oh, there's a two. So they have some decorations in some of the shops here. This little greeneries all around. It's going to be hard to see because it's so bright, but Santa and Mrs. Claus are sitting here in the window. This is one of my favorite sections for decorations here. Got them all the way up the banister and on the balcony up there. We actually used to do that in our house, but I guess we decided it was too much work to get it to stay on the banister there, but very beautiful. Got a lot of decorations here as well. A sportsman shop. And here we have a poinsettia tree right by the uh, bathroom and fountain area. I love the uh, way the symmetrical gardens are separated here. And here we are in the Canada Pavilion and the mill stage is very well decorated here. They've got the Canadian Holiday Voyagers performing here at different times throughout the day. Here's another view of it. And here we have the way that the holidays are celebrated in Canada. I know I missed this sign in uh, the UK, but uh, the show was going on and I couldn't get to it. But uh, Father Christmas is the uh, symbol of the holidays or the Christmas season in the UK. And here we have uh, Santa Claus or Le Père Noël in French Canada. And we have all these evergreen trees decorated with lights, which are very beautiful at night. So let's go into the pavilion and look at the rest of the decorations here. Some great greenery on the Northwest Mercantile here. Inside the shop here, we've got some great greenery and even a wreath above the uh, antlers here. Here's some more in the main section of the shop here. This isn't really holiday related except for there are a few poinsettias in the arrangements around the lamppost there, but I love this view of the Bouchard Gardens here. Here's another angle. Here's a great view of the World Showcase Lagoon from up on the uh, steps leading up to the rest of the Canada Pavilion. And here they've got some decorations around the La Cellier sign leading down to the gardens. It's really nice. Well, it looks like we've come full circle here on our tour of the holidays around the World Showcase Lagoon here. We hope you've enjoyed the video. And again, please remember to leave us a like and a comment, as well as subscribe if you haven't already done so. And in those comments, let us know what you think. These videos, uh, this one definitely took some time to make, and uh, you know, it's always nice to uh, see if people uh, are enjoying them or not. So uh, let us know. It really is nice to hear from you guys. Also, be sure to check us out on social media or Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also, please check out our sponsors, MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. 
go check out mickeytravels.com to book your next trip. Also, check out windowrepairparts.us and use the coupon code RESORTTV1 for 20% off your purchase at windowrepairparts.us. Also, be sure to check out MainStreetDVCresale.com. See how easy it is to sell your DVC commission-free at MainStreetDVCresale.com. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.